Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and I've got a great design for you today. This is a tileable hopper minecart unloading system that unloads into a water stream. So you may use this for a big farm that you have that has, generates lots of items, and all of it goes into some sort of bulk storage area that you use later on, okay? So you can see here, you can turn it on just by a flip of a lever, and the minecarts go. And if they pick up here, let's get some items out here for it. Let's put some over there, like that. They'll pick up the items and then start throwing them out into the water stream. This is a fantastic system, and now I'm gonna show you how to build it. Let's start with the droppers and the water stream portion of the collection system. We're gonna put a dropper down. We're gonna put two observers facing into that and going into a block, okay? On top of that block, you're gonna put a dropper facing outward. This is where it will be pointing into the water stream, and then we're gonna put two more observers. There we go, okay? That's the basics of this tileable part for the droppers. Now we wanna have that going into a water flow, so we're gonna put a block here, and this should be eight blocks. Okay, that's where the water will flow all the way to the end here. And then at the end, we're gonna put a chest and a hopper, okay? Now we gotta make a kinda like a little trough, if you will. So let's uh, do that, there we go. And then we gotta run this all the way down like this, okay? And that way we have the water can flow just nicely, okay? And then you just gotta add some water, okay, over here. And that portion is done and the droppers are ready. Now we got to get the hopper minecart collection system added into the droppers. To do the hopper minecart unloading system, we're going to put a hopper facing downward into the dropper with a powered rail on top. Okay. Then we're going to put a block out this way. And we're going to put a regular rail on top of that. That will break the circuit between these two. Now you want to put eight more blocks. And these should be powered rails. Okay. There we go. Now we want to power those, so I use a redstone block and you put a power rail on top of that and you can see the entire line gets powered, but this one is still unpowered and that's key. This has to be unpowered so that when the circuit powers it, it will know to dispatch the hopper minecart. Okay, so now we can just put a block up here. This is so that the hopper minecart will bounce and that looks good. Now we're gonna work on this side of it, which is the whole dispatching system, okay? So from right here, you want to put a comparator. It can be right on top of that observer. That's no problem at all. Then you're gonna put a block on top of that and a redstone torch. And you'll hear some clicks, that is fine. Then you wanna put a block on top of the redstone torch. You wanna to put a repeater right there and then a block in front of that repeater, okay? And there you go. Now this system basically is ready to go. What we need to do is just put a hopper minecart on top of it. Like that. And it'll go back and forth. And if it happens to pick up anything, like let's say we throw, throw out a, uh, the powered rail right there, it picks it up here and it dispatches it out. So the system basically is done right now, but there are some more improvements that we can make. One improvement is stopping the hopper minecart from moving in case you want to shut this system off from collecting whatever resources it's working with for a farm. So what you wanna do with right here is you wanna put a couple blocks back. Let's go three blocks back, okay? And we're gonna put a sticky piston here like that, and you're gonna put a lever on top, okay? So it's basically the system is on. It pulls that block back, which breaks the circuit and the hopper minecart will stop. If you want to go again, you just turn that on, and of course it engages. This design is tileable. As you can see, I've tiled these together. There's now three rows. And you may want to do this if your farm is having a lot of drops and you can't keep up with just one minecart. You can split it out. You can do multiple rows, whatever you need, so that you can get as many of the items as you want. Now, this system will work great with this switch right here. If you just put a slime block here, like this, the redstone circuit will pass through the slime block, and you can see those... Mine carts will just go out just fine. And then I can just drop out this right here. And one of them will pick it up. And of course that one will stop just like that. And it keeps on going. Now I can turn this off right here. And you can see they're just gonna stop right there. That's fine. And everything's going great. And it's going down into the hopper and into the chest. And that's all there is to it. I hope the design works well for you and your farms. I'm gonna put the world download in the description so you can grab it and take a look. And that's about it. So thanks guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you there would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay guys, thanks. Have a great day, bye-bye.